Excel, we are going to see how to change the symbology for layers in ArcGIS Pro. So you can see in this map, so I am having example for point and polygon. So in order to change the uh, symbols for these points, you can directly left click over here. So you just have to click on this uh, point automatically left click over it automatically you can see uh, you can uh, choose a lot of symbols which is uh, defaultly available in RGS Pro so from here you can choose any uh, symbols for example if you want to represent this in triangle you can represent in triangle you can see it has been changed if you want to change the uh, size of this triangle you just uh, from here you just need to move on to the properties here you can choose the shape uh, shape fill symbology you can pick up the color for example let me pick in color and outline color you can choose the outline color for this so I'm picking up blue now if you click on apply you can see here it has been automatically updated you can also increase the size by increasing the points over here you can see when you, are, when you are increasing it here it will increase let me apply you can see the change so likewise you can reduce the size of the symbols so I have reduced it the concept is same for a polygon also you just need to left click you can see here in the gallery you can see the options you can choose accordingly a lot of color schemes are available a lot of symbology is available you can see here like this you can see that it has been updated if you want it to be shown in an outline you can choose accordingly or a dashed like this you can see how it is like this you can change the symbology if you want to edit the colors go to the option properties you can choose this color uh, what color should be inside the polygon so for example if you don't want any color choose no and you can choose the outline color apply it so you can see here now the polygon is not visible why because the outline with point is not being set so set it to one now apply now you can see here now it is visible you can reduce it to points also for example 0 0.5 apply you can see the width of the line reduces outline reduces so like this you can do change the symbology now let me close it so there is also another option for us symbolizing the layers you just need to pick up the layer right click on it and you can find the option symbology over here previously we just seen how to commonly give the uh, symbology for points or polygons so in this case we are going to see how to symbolize each points differently so for that you can see here you just need to click here and choose unique values and you can choose the attribute fields for example in this case I am going to choose location let me show you the attribute table of this uh, point file Now you can see here that uh, while I am digitizing, uh, I have uh, given some uh, 
names for this uh, layers for the points some may represent railway uh, railway intersection hospitals bond metro station bus stand fish market industrial estate dump site so for each of this point you can uniquely give the symbols so that is what we are saying so for others we required any attribute values okay now after choosing unique values you can see that uh, we have chosen field 1 this location based on location it will be uh, will be uh, given the symbols so 11 pitches are available so first is uh, metro station so left click on it now here you can change the symbology for the metro station select style double click on the style using mouse left click now you can see a lot of uh, symbols is been given by the RJS Pro so this is a railway intersection so I am going to choose this one choose this as the symbology for it let me click ok now let me if you want you can customize this by increasing the size ok now let me apply and go back now you can see that the symbology for this uh, is being updated you can see it. now it is a plus symbol double click you can increase the size you can change the color from here you can also use angle how it should be shown if you are using 3d you can show it in angle also so now let us apply it and go back so likewise you can change the symbology just use mouse or left click double click on it here choose style double click so this is a hospital so you can also search for the symbols So you can see here for hospital lot of uh, symbols are available so I am going to use this one ok now go back to this appearance you can choose the color size ok now let me apply and go back So sorry, this is a bus stand. I thought it was. Okay. Uh, once again, go on to this option. Style. Now I'm going to choose bus stand. Or let me put bus. Let's see. You can see here bus stand or bus station. Okay. Apply. Go back. So likewise, you can click on uh, each of the. Uh, symbols and you can change it dump site so for this no result is there so I am going to roughly choose for this dump site let me put this one indicating hazard apply so like this you can do for each you can change the symbology let me make it quicker now uh, you, you can see here I have given the symbols for each of this one and you can also see over here it has been updated so let me close this and close the attribute now 
now you can see that the symbols are very small so let me increase the size properties you can see it is located over here see the size let me set it to 15 apply images bigger now you can see it is in now it's clearly visible like this like this let me increase the size for others also so that it will be visible double click here properties left click now I have increased the size now let us click apply close it and you can see see the symbology how it is right now so like this you can symbolize the point features uniquely or uh, if you want to give it commonly you can give commonly so if you have any other doubts you can ask in the comment section same thing applies for polygon double click on the polygon here go to galleries from here you can choose the colors so it is a common color for all polygon it will be applied let me show you let me pick up this color and you can see this is a common colors ok you can choose these colors like this these are common colors if you want to choose uniquely right click on this layer and go to the option symbology here choose unique values once again we need to choose the field so I am going to choose name and you can see here a lot of uh, polygons are available and for each of them there will be unique colors will be given if you want you can customize this color by double clicking on this and you can choose it accordingly so first is colony so let me put the uh, settlements and let us see whether we are getting any results so we aren't getting any results so let me put buildings yeah you can use this building footprints or you can customize it any color you can choose now let me select this one mango forest let me choose a color so I am going to choose green color go to the option properties here you can choose the color for the inside the polygon what the color is you can choose it so for example if I need it in a light green, I choose light green. Outline color can be choosed accordingly. So I am going to use brown color for it. You can choose the outline width. You can see how the width is increasing. Let me apply it. You can see the width can be increased like this. 
but usually you can give one that will be enough that, that is visible also like this you can make it go back so you can choose it for example you can see here you can see solid or stroke or picture stroke you can explore this options these are uh, solid fill or gradient if i choose gradient fill you can see how it will be it will be like this let me apply it for lake I have chosen that's why I am looking at why it's not changing so I have chosen lake so you can see the gradient fill how it is uh, let me change the color let me put it a blue I will apply it you can see here how the gradient color works gradient fill or animated fill you can just animated fill We type this water. We can see here. Then uh, hatched fill. So you can see this is hatched fill. And you can see the hatch line symbol. You can change the hatch line symbol. Apply. You can see how it is changing. You can explore these things. This is very easy, very understandable. You can choose the pattern also. You can choose the degrees. So what will be the degree? If you put 90 degree, it will be changing accordingly. When you are putting the number over here, after that you need to click on this empty space so that you can apply it. You can see when we are setting 90 degrees, it is changing. You can also separate. For example, if you increase it, the separation will be more that you can see here itself you can see how it is how it is working the spacing between the lines increases and decreases procedural fill so i am not sure how to use it we have to we will do it separately so this is solid fill that is normal so like this, lot of fills is there, you can use it accordingly. So if you have any other doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. Thanks for watching.